do have some exciting things planned for future videos, uh, which I don't want to talk about in case it doesn't happen. Which I don't want to talk about in case it doesn't happen. Which I don't want to talk about in case it doesn't happen. Which I don't want to talk about in case it doesn't happen. Oh. Hello. So as I alluded to in my last video, there were actually some pretty cool things, pretty cool flying things that I was able to do in the last little bit. Uh, unfortunately, the audio problems continue to plague me um, because I keep forgetting to check the audio levels. So it's totally my fault, but it's not great. Either way, uh, some of the cool things include, but are not limited to, um, I did my long cross country. To get your private pilot license, you have to do a cross country trip of at least 150 nautical miles with at least two full stop landings. Uh, and I did that. I flew from here in Kamloops over to Cache Creek and up to 108 mile ranch uh, and then flew back direct. Landings weren't great, but you know, what do you do? But yeah, I did make it there and make it back in one piece. Some beautiful views. It was a gorgeous day. Another thing that happened is we took Coco on another flight. That was exciting, except for Coco. As you can see here, he hated it. He's just not a flying dog, I don't think. And of course, there was still more instrument stuff to do. So Riley took me up and we had a good time doing some instrument work. So quick catch up on where we are as of this moment. So the day I'm recording this, it's September the 18th. Um, my flight exam is Tuesday the 20th, so I only have a couple days before my flight exam. Uh, now I hear you saying, Paul, uh, this video basically came out in 2025. Um, why is it that your videos are spread out so far? It's because once I actually get the PPL eventually, hopefully, um, I'm not going to be able to fly much because flying is really expensive. Whew. So I, I got to try and spread this out and stretch this out as much as I can. Either way, I managed to get my acts together, check audio levels more regularly and uh, make sure things are working. So hopefully the next flights will be good. But here is a flight I went solo uh, and you can watch me going solo. Here we go. So uh, you joined me here um, backtracking down the length of the runway. I got to take off the other direction and the taxiway I normally take is closed right now because they're doing construction. Much needed construction, actually. It's exciting stuff. So yeah, basically, I'm just going to backtrack a good long ways, and then uh, we're going to... Actually, I might do short field. Um, might do short field on the takeoff. All right, let's swing it around. Ten flaps for my short field. I get it lined up. I'm going to do a stop, full stop, full power, static checks, brakes aren't holding for some reason, power setting looks good. Alright, there's 40, looking for about 55, there's 50, we're, we're already climbing. Alright, pitch for VX. <laughs> like how even the plane's like, nah, you're doing a short field right now. Really hazy out today. I was joking with Praveen earlier, like, how much am I going to be shortening my life sucking in all this smoke? There's 1700, let's turn north of college, turn crosswind, so we're going to lead with the rudder, that's too much rudder. Okay, so I have a bit of a tailwind right now, so I know it's going to pull a bit of power out here. And, wow, we are 107 knots over the ground, wow. So, landing. Uh, we've got quite a headwind, let's do, well, let's do a short field. We did a short field takeoff, let's do a short field landing, then we'll go around and do a soft field. Alright, we're on final thoughts for 30. Super slow. Let's push the nose forward a little bit. Put some speed. Get some speed in. I to extend my glide quite a bit. So we're going 60. 60 is a good speed. I do like it going 50 over the ground. This is. I need to make these finals shorter because this is going to take forever. <laughs> Try and land on the thousands. Pulling the power. That's too soon. All right, pull it to cruise, whoop. So it flaps up right away and we slam on the brakes. And we're breaking with increasing severity. Oh, I can see the construction work down there. See whatever they're doing down there on that taxiway. All right, so we're gonna do soft field this time. Try and put it down nice and gentle. Keep a bit of power in, keep that nose off, let the nose kind of settle down with that little tiny bit of power that we're going to have in. Alright, speed's a little fast, so I'm going to pull the nose up. Pull a bit of power out. Okay, we're not, we got too high all of a sudden, so let's pull more power out. Alright, so with the headwind I'm super short, got to remember that. So let's pull the power. 
Let the cruise. Add a little bit of power in. Oh, didn't get the nose all the way back. Oh my goodness, there's a flock of birds. I lost the geese crossing the runway there in front of you. Yep, that's very terrifying. Wow, that was a flock of geese. All right, let's do a normal takeoff. Now let's try a normal landing. Why am I not taking off? My trim is so bad. So the wind is really screwing with me. I gotta be aware of that, because if I get a windy day on my flight test, then I need to not screw that up. Okay, so you know what? Bit of a crossbow from the left now, so I want to make sure I land with my left main first. Airspeed is good. Getting a little bit high. But again, we're aiming for the thousand, so it's not terrible. Definitely, the wind is definitely favoring the left a little bit. All right, coming in. Pull it to full of power. Pull it to cruise. Oh goodness, that was not good. Power settle me down. That was a very soft landing. Um, it wasn't a good one because I pulled back way too hard and ended up ballooning. But uh, that was a very soft. That was a very soft landing. More birds. That was a little scary. I mean, honestly, the wind has been manageable so far, but the birds are terrifying. There. All right. Normal landing. Let's put this plane down on the thousand foot markers. Bending slightly. Let's put this plane down on the thousand foot markers and call it a day. The Coast Cretangles turning final zero nine. Touch and go. Roger. Wind zero nine zero at twelve gusting nineteen. Roger. Do one more after this. This is a good. All right, get scared down. Okay. Pull it to idle, that's too early. Pull it to cruise. Or gently pull it back. That nose off, keep pulling, keep pulling. Not shabby, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Looking for birds again. All right, let's make the next one a full stop because the winds are... The winds are not great. Alright, so speed 60, let's get the 30 flaps in there. Actually, to be honest with you, it's probably good that I'm not landing long, because honestly, with all the birds that have been around, like, I want to fly through it. Like, most of the birds can be flying over the middle of the runway, I don't want to be flying through a flock of seagulls. That was an 80s joke. Alright, aiming for the thousands. Aiming for the thousands. Aiming for the thousands. Put this plane down nice and easy. A little, little, little early. Little bit early. Didn't quite make the thousands. Dang it. That headwind, though. Well, good to know, right? So there we go. Uh, what we learned in that flight is that uh, uh, the headwinds are the mess with you. I was talking with Riley about it afterwards, and one of the things that he reminded me of is the fact that all your performance figures in your POH, pretty much all of them, are for a max weight plane. And with just me in the plane and not full fuel tanks or whatever, I was definitely not max weight. Anyway, by the time this video comes out, um, although I would have either not had or had the PPL for quite some time, uh, but at this point I have no idea what's going to happen. So uh, thoughts and prayers, and um, yeah. We'll see what happens. So thanks for watching, um, and we'll see what happens next month. We'll see. Will I get my PPL in next month's video? Probably not, because I still have a couple flights left. But yes, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in a month. Okay, bye. Ooh, mercy. Oh, okay, that's fine. Haters gonna hate.